What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Butts of Spin, and today we got something a little special. We got a triple pack from Slingshot, which is which is getting pretty old now. Uh, surprisingly here down in Brazil, apparently nobody bought this because we can still find these in almost every toy store. Um, even Hypersphere stuff and even some of the Speedstorm stuff are starting to phase out. But this Slingshot has been going strong, like I see this everywhere. So I figured why not open it up. As you can see, this is the Elemental X, Element X pack. It does come with three God Layer uh, Beyblades, as you can see, uh, with an element each. One is a... <laughs> apparently, Mountain is an element. Mountain, Aqua, and Inferno. So fire, water, and rock. Fantastic, fantastic. It is Galaxy Zootron, Spyro, Traptoon, and Kerbeas. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We don't have uh, these two. We do have Galaxy Zootron, just not in the Mountain X color. Uh, but we do have the normal normal Zutron, Galaxy Zutron um, Beyblade. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I will take these. Slingshot is, at the very least, interesting. So we'll take a look at uh, how they are, of course. And back in Slingshot, you can see that none of them had any uh, limit-breaking stats. You know, this is better to look at. Uh, nowadays, you see Hasbro Bays, and they're all, like, passing the limit and stuff. So, you know... I like to see stuff like this better. This kind of seem like they make more sense. But you know, it is what it is. Let's open this up and see if they spin. But before we continue, leave us a like if you've been enjoying this series and consider subscribing not to miss any future videos of But Does It Spin. So are you ready? Let's go. And here we are with everything out of the box. Of course, it does come with a manual, which I highly recommend you take a look at, uh, especially because this is Slingshot. Um, not only does it tell you the rules about Beyblades and stuff, how to assemble it and all that, but because this is Slingshot, all of the drivers also have a uh, Slingshot mode. So here it tells you how to change those modes, for those of you who don't know. So, you know, always a good thing to take a look at it here. Uh, instead of trying to figure out what your driver does. But here we are, let's talk about it, let's talk about it. First, we will be looking at Mountain X Galaxy Zutron Z4. It's a mouthful, but here we are. This is Hasbro's Galaxy Zutron, so it is much lighter, it doesn't have any metal, it is fully, fully plastic, it doesn't even have the metal balls in there, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that said, here they say this is a defense type, and I guess that does kind of make sense. But yeah, you can see uh, that there is quite a bit of, quite a few uh, impact points. Uh, a lot of them are really tiny and really thin here, so I'm slightly afraid that, that those parts might break off if they hit something really hard. But you know, it is what it is. You can see that it is quite even, it is symmetrical, very symmetrical. It is right spinning. Yeah, it's just not much to say about it. It's just a decent defense type, I guess. The disc that came with it is a 12, which is pretty good. You can put a frame on it if you really want, but you can see that it also has this blades on it, which does cut through the air pretty nicely. It is okay. It, it is slightly elliptical, pretty light, not not too great, I guess, but also not too bad either. It's just, you know, it's just a forged disc to have. If you have it, sure, why not? The driver here is a defense. S, S for slingshot. You can see that there is a shield symbol there, which is pretty nice. On normal mode, you can see that there is like a rounder tip on top, so you will be more defensive there. And then on slingshot mode, you just turn this, this thing here, and then press it down, and there you go. The round tip goes in, so it is a lot more aggressive. It is not only a whole flat, but it does have this little tips on the sides, which I assume will wear out if you use it too much. Um, but yeah, it will be more aggressive on this. And I assume you will lose a lot more stamina with this. But you know, it is what it is. Let's leave it on normal mode, just like that. Um, because why not? This is Aqua X Spyro Trap Tune. And though this is very round, they say this is an attack type. I guess it does have three wings right there for the attack. They're not very prominent attacks, at least I don't think so, but, you know, it is what it is. It could do okay damage. But as you see, it does have a lot of uh, holes in between, 
which because it's already Hasbro, it is already pretty light. So I don't I don't feel too great about that. I feel like if it gets smashed too hard, those parts might break it. Cause you know, you can see that it is connected only by a few thin parts there. So, you know, don't feel too great about battling this, but it is what it is. Uh, that said, it does look beautiful. I've always liked Treptune. Nice to have it in our collection. Forge disc that came with it is a seven. So, you know, it is also elliptical. It does have a lot of weight on two sides. It is a lot heavier than the 12. That said, because it is a disc that is heavily weighted on two sides, whereas this layer does have three wings, I'm not sure how well this will work, especially when it's uh, like this. I guess one of the wings will be weighted, but then the other side will just... I don't know. <laughs> it feels like an odd choice to me, at least. But you know, it is what it is. The driver here is an Excel S for Slingshot. It's an Excel, but it is a Slingshot, as you can see. It doesn't look very much like an Excel. Uh, but you can see that the tip is of an Excel, but it is slightly taller. And uh, it will act like an Excel in this mode, but on Slingshot, you turn this, this part here and lift it up, and then you turn it back to lock it in place and uh, that will make it a lot flatter. You will have a lot more surface area touching the arena, so it will have a lot more friction and thus being more aggressive. Uh, it will do a lot more counterattacks and so, so forth. So, you know, it is an interesting mode, but like I said, we will keep it on normal mode for this video. Now, we do have Inferno X Kerbeus K4. Very cool, very cool. I do not have a Kerbeus K4, so, you know, even if this is recolor, it is very nice. To have you can see the dog motif with the chain the second dog and the third dog only one of the dogs is on profile but you know it is what it is i do like this quite a bit i do like the fire on it it's great that they chose a fire element for this since there is already fire motif on there but you know pretty cool i always thought uh Kerbeus was a defensive type you can see it is very round with a lot of counters but for this in specific, on the box it says it's a balance type, which is pretty interesting. I won't argue with them. But yeah, it is pretty defensive. It does have a few very light counters in here, but not much. Not many attack either. It is just a very round blade. Fantastic. Forge this that comes in it is a 2, which is also okay. It is slightly elliptical as well. It does have more prominent weights on two sides as well. But that's not too bad because this is almost perfectly round. So, you know, it won't be too terribly unbalanced. It is a very small disc, however. But, uh, you know, thankfully, the layers used to be a lot smaller back then as well. So it won't be too small. Like, the weight won't be too focused on the center. It is still, you can see the points here, it is still somewhat okay. That said, there are probably better uh, discs out there for these layers, but you know, I won't argue. We're here just to test this out. And the driver here is a Tower S, so Tower Excel. You can see the little symbol of a tower there. But you know, this also, you can see that it does have a slim flat on there, kinda like Excel, maybe a little slimmer, but no, maybe, maybe the same width the same the same uh, size it will have a similar pattern but because of this wider parts here it will either it will scrape a little or catch on the tornado ridge and just keep going that said it's slingshot mode it's very similar to excels as well it will make a bigger flatter surface but this one does have a hole in the middle so it'll be more like a whole flat a thicker whole flat maybe so it will be slightly more aggressive, not as aggressive as the slingshot mode of the Excel, but still, it will have a bigger movement there. But yeah, these are the parts. Let's assemble it, test it out, and battle them against each other.
And that's it folks. Kerbeas did win from both of them. Zutron did beat Treptune and Treptune did lose to both of them. Treptune as you can see even in a fight against Kerbeas who wasn't hitting too hard you see that he was just about to burst right here. His slopes are really weak which is interesting because he is the only attack type in supposedly an attack type amongst these three. So his slopes were supposed to be stronger, but it is supposedly the weakest here. It is, he is bursting and getting near to burst on every battle. Um, Kerbeas was pretty fantastic, despite him, uh, you could hear the scraping every once in a while, especially when he was in the circles here, you could see that happening. Uh, Zutron was pretty fantastic, I think. He was actually hitting pretty hard, despite him being a defense type. But yeah, that's what I have to show you. Take the conclusions you like from that. Leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to some more videos like this. Of course, we are focusing more on Beyblades, but we also do bring some other spin tops from time to time. And sometimes even stuff that are not even spin tops, but that we try to spin anyway just to see if we can. We're also going to be doing a tournament of our Slingshock uh, Beyblades soon. So stay tuned for that. So see you next time. And until then, stay nerdy, guys. Mm -hmm.